Here's a response from a lady when I challenged her support of Kyle Rittenhouse and asked her to check if there's any chance she was doing this in support of white cultural supremacy. And her response was, what about you? You know, racism and privilege and white supremacy are such difficult subjects. I'm not even sure I should be talking about it as a white man on here, but I've tried to do my work to read, learn, to sit and hear the stories of people of color. I got a long way to go, but my heart has been softened toward the issue a lot because I'm trying to be willing to allow my heart to be softened toward it because what I grew up in taught me to defend my white cultural supremacy. And what I'm trying to ask supporters of Kyle Rittenhouse to do is at least check your heart to see if there's something of trying to defend your white culture that's causing you to defend Kyle Rittenhouse, where, where if he were a black man, you would do no such thing. In fact, you would applaud that man being shot dead on sight. Yet so many people have come on and said, well, Biden did the hand gesture, or VP Harris did the hand gesture, or it was self-defense, or he killed white people and one of them was a pedophile. And I'm saying, if you're willing to comment such things, which you're clearly mimicking from right-wing media you listen to, are you willing to ask yourself the question, is it possible that I've been enticed to protect my cultural significance because I'm afraid of what happens if I don't? because I've been told to be afraid those people or those intellectuals or some other those are gonna take something from us if we don't. Because if you're just using the excuse, oh, it's just a hand signal and it doesn't matter that Kyle Rittenhouse flashed it while posing with Proud Boys, maybe there's something in you that's trying to defend something not worth defending inside your heart. And if you're not even willing to consider that possibility, you really have some work to do. And our culture's future depends on people of privilege who are willing to do that work and humble their hearts. I'm not perfect at it by any means. All I can do is try to humble my heart and hear. Are you willing to do that?